On Sunday, April 19th, 2020, the U.S. Navy's Sixth Fleet Public Affairs Office released this video showing a Russian Federation Air Force Su-35 flanker approaching a Navy P-8A plane. The footage, taken from within the Navy aircraft, follows the Russian fighter jet's trajectory as it intercepted the American plane over the Mediterranean Sea. While the two countries disagree over the legality and danger of the intercept, both agree that the incident was firmly in international airspace, where both countries often push aviation safety to its limits. The aircraft. The two aircraft involved in the incident were an American Boeing P-8 Poseidon and a Russian Sukhoi Su-35. The P-8 Poseidon is a military plane designed and produced by Boeing Defense Space and Security. Despite being commissioned by the U.S. Navy, the aircraft is used by military allies, including the Royal Australian Air Force, Indian Navy, Royal Air Force, and even the Republic of Korea Navy. The plane has been a part of Navy aerial arsenal since 2009. Used in anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, the Poseidon includes torpedoes, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and other variable weapons. It can spy through sono buoys, an unmanned aerial vehicle, as well as other surveillance technologies. The Russian aircraft was a Sukhoi Su-35, known to NATO as Flanker E-Variant. It's a single-seat, supermaneuverable, twin-engine jet created by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and built at the Komsolmoskonomor aircraft facility. The jet was designed by the Soviet Union as a follow-up to the Su-27M. When it was first incorporated into the Soviet military, the plane used canards and a multifunction radar that was not common in aircraft. The first flight of a Sukhoi took place in June 1988. After the Soviet Union dissolved, Sukhoi renamed the jet Su-35 and started selling it to other countries. In 2003, the model was upgraded and modernized, serving as a placeholder for the Su-57 program. These planes received a redesigned cockpit and weaponry control system. Thrust vectoring engines replaced original canards. The upgraded Su-35 flew in February 2008 for the first time, and has since been integrated into their air force. Other countries have also placed orders for the Russian jet, including China and Indonesia. American Reaction The U.S. Naval Forces Europe-Africa and the U.S. Sixth Fleet Public Affairs released a statement explaining what happened from the U.S. perspective. They claimed that while a P-8A aircraft was flying in international airspace above the Mediterranean Sea, conducting routine maritime patrol and reconnaissance operations, a Russian Su-35 jet was followed for a hundred minutes. According to the Navy, the first interception was safe and within the parameters of international law. But the second interception was conducted at high speed in a high power maneuver, which reduced the distance between the two aircraft to a dangerous 25 feet. The Russian jet proceeded to fly directly in front of the American one, which, according to the Navy, caused turbulence and exposed the plane to jet exhaust. The American pilot, flying at a consistent speed and altitude, descended to sufficiently gain distance from the aircraft and prevent a collision. The American Navy characterized the actions of the Russian pilots as, quote, unsafe and unprofessional. Furthermore, they stated that, quote, the unnecessary actions of the Russian Su-35 pilot were inconsistent with good airmanship and international flight rules, seriously jeopardizing the safety of flight of both aircraft. They deemed it a violation of the 1972 agreement for the prevention of incidents on and over the high seas. The Russians' actions also violated several other treaties and agreements. The Navy expressed concerns that interceptions such as this one could lead to mid-air collisions, especially with a decreased reaction time for correcting any mistakes or miscalculations. The Navy also referenced another interaction that raised concern. On April 15, 2020, at only 25 feet away, a Russian Su-35 flew inverted over the P-8A. According to the American Navy, the U.S. aircraft had been following the law on both occasions. They had done nothing to provoke the Russian pilots. The Navy hoped by publicly calling out Russia, they would lead the country to order their pilots to stick to international rules and regulations. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper discussed the incident on NBC's Today Show, stating that in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, quote, This is why I said we must maintain our national mission capabilities, our readiness, our ability to protect the United States, because our adversaries are not standing down. Russian Reaction 
Russian forces operated in Syria at the time of the intercept, claiming the intercept was under circumstances opposing those the U.S. Navy claimed. The Russians posted a statement saying, quote, On April 19th, an air target was detected by Russian means of controlling airspace over the neutral waters of the Mediterranean Sea, flying on a course to Russian military facilities in the Syrian Arab Republic. A fighter from the Air Defense Forces on duty at the Kamehameha Air Base was raised to identify the target. According to the Russian Air Defense Ministry, the Su-35 named the American vessel. It continued on its journey to its base in Syria as soon as the American aircraft changed its course. Furthermore, they took no responsibility for any wrongdoing, stating, quote, All flights of the Russian Aerospace Forces took place and are taking place in strict accordance with the international rules for the use of airspace over neutral waters. North American Aerospace Defense Command Procedures Most aviation rules for both in-country and international airspace allow interception of military and civilian aircraft, but only under strict conditions and only if it poses a threat to the parties involved. Otherwise, interception may end up being interpreted as an act of war. The North American Aerospace Defense Command procedures allow for interceptions for the following purposes. Quote, the reasons for aircraft intercept include, but are not limited to, identify an aircraft, track an aircraft, inspect an aircraft, divert an aircraft, establish communications with an aircraft. However, American rules dictate that, quote, interceptor aircraft will initiate a controlled closure toward the aircraft of interest holding at a distance no closer than deemed necessary to establish positive identification and gather the necessary information. International aviation rules also dictate that the distance of an approach must not be less than necessary for gathering information and keeping all parties safe. It's unclear whether the Russian Su-35 fully complied with these international expectations. Some have asserted that the Russian Federation toes the line between acceptable and provoking the international community. <laughs> 